Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. It is a crisp winter day here in South Texas. And when I say crisp, I mean 60-some degrees. I know, it's terrible, right? Anyway, I want to get on here today and talk about warranty. When Tacoma warranty should be denied. You know, I think we often think that the dealership should cover anything that happens to the Toyota Tacoma. Anything, it doesn't matter. But that's not what warranty is. Warranty only has certain parameters where it applies, right? Which covers most things. I mean, if there's a defect in the Toyota Tacoma, and it's nothing that uh, you could avoid, in other words, the factory or manufacturer, Toyota, caused it, then they should cover it under warranty. But there's a few things when warranty should be denied. You know, recently, I had a comment on the channel, and I'm not dogging this person, I understand their frustration, but they had a transmission problem. They took the truck into Toyota, and Toyota discovered, at least this is what I'm getting from the comment, that a mouse or mice had damaged the wiring for the transmission because they said, the dealer told them, that the reason the transmission was not working is because of rodent damage. Well, the only thing that could be is that mice chewed the wiring for the transmission, right? I mean, they didn't take apart the transmission, you know, with their little mice tools and mess up all of the metal and the gearing and stuff in it. So that was a mouse problem. Now, the dealership is not going to cover that, nor should they. I mean, if mice damage your wiring, that's not on the dealership. That kind of falls under act of God, right? I mean, if a tree falls on your Tacoma, the dealership is not going to cover that under warranty. And we'll get to what should cover these things in just a minute. It should be obvious, but we'll get to it. Next up, accidents. You know, dealerships or the manufacturer, Toyota, is not going to cover your vehicle if there's an accident, with one little caveat. That's assuming that there wasn't something faulty in the truck that caused the accident. I mean, let's think about it. Let's say, and I'm talking about something minor here. Let's talk about accident-wise. Let's talk about the brakes failing. If the brakes failed because there was some sort of manufacturing defect, well, then obviously the dealership, the manufacturer should cover that. That's not your fault. But let's say you change the brakes. You put different pads on. Well, that's not the dealership's fault. Maybe you forgot to tighten a screw down or something. They're not going to cover that under warranty, nor should they. That's something that you did. Next up, of course, and this is something that applies to me, are mods. You know, the rule is that basically the manufacturer will not cover any warranted part that you have caused a failure of through something like mods. So if you did a mod and it caused the failure of an otherwise warranted part, they're not going to cover it because it's on you. It's your fault. And again, I do not believe that they should cover it. They didn't do anything. You screwed it up. You know, basic negligence. Let's say that, for instance, you change the oil in your truck, which you should do. It'll save you money, makes you bond with the truck a little more, and gives you a sense of satisfaction. But let's say you did that and you forgot to put the plug back in. So you change the oil, everything's great, you're all happy, you take off for a cross-country trip. You change the oil because you knew you were taking that trip, right? A few miles, maybe several miles down the road, you're an hour away from home, maybe less, I don't know how long it would take. But your engine blows up because it's got no oil, because you forgot to put that little plug in. You can't run to the dealership and tell them that, it's their problem because you screwed it up. That was negligence on your part. Now, I'm not a lawyer, but these things just make sense to me. They're logical. Things that you cause are not going to be covered under warranty. A few other examples. Overloading the truck. And I know a lot of us like to do this. I've done it myself many times with the Tacoma. You know, going to the flower shop and having them throw some dirt in the back, seeing the bed do this and then it rides like this down the road, I've overloaded the bed. If I break a spring or a shock or something like that, that's really on me. 
Now, the dealership might have a harder time trying to prove that you did that if you clean up the bed, get all that dirt out, and then just try to claim the shock broke. But that's a whole other ethical video, I guess. What about exceeding the specs? You know, I don't know, maybe you do something that amps up the horsepower, but you don't change the transmission. The transmission blows up because you've put a, a giant Hemi V8 in your Tacoma, but you didn't change out the transmission. That's not the dealership's fault either. Again, it's something that you did that caused a problem in the end. You know, I mentioned in the beginning about this person who uh, had the rodent problem, and they're trying to say that you should return your truck under the lemon law. It's a lemon. It's a lemon because rodents got in there and chewed the wiring. How is that a lemon? I don't understand it. I mean, mice are out there, particularly where I live. Not only do we have mice, we have squirrels, we have rats, alligators, snakes. Who knows? Maybe there's even some wire-chewing wasps out there. I don't know. We've got it all down here. So my truck, when I have it parked outside, which is not all the time, it does share garage space, but when I have it parked outside, of course, it's going to be susceptible to nature, anything that's out there. You know, I used the tree example in the beginning. If a tree falls on your truck, they're not gonna cover that under warranty. And I mentioned, I tell you what would, insurance. This is what insurance is for. And I'm wondering if this person that made the comment in the beginning has insurance, or if they've even talked to their insurance company. Now, of course, kind of depends on what kind of coverage you have. And this is a good reminder to check your coverage, to make sure that you have the coverage that you think you do. You know, it's kind of like homeowner's insurance, right? Where you have insurance, but maybe you don't have flood insurance. All of a sudden that once in 500 year flood comes along, floods your house, and then you run to your insurance company and they say, we're not covering it because you didn't pay for coverage. Well, it's the same thing, and that's on you. Maybe your agent a little bit, too. I mean, they should at least give you the option to buy these things. As much as I hate when they try to throw extra things at me, I do like to be informed so I know what's going on, right? And if you're real curious about your warranty, read your warranty. Nobody wants to do that, but all these things are covered. Acts of God, negligence, all kinds of stuff. It's all there in the fine print. You might have to get a magnifying glass, especially if you're uh, of advanced uh, existence like me. But still, it's a good thing to know. It's a good thing to know so that when you go to the dealership and you're trying to get coverage for things and they turn you down, you don't have to be frustrated. You should know before you even go. Certain things are just not gonna be covered and I don't have an issue with that. They can't cover everything. Otherwise, we'd be paying like 100 grand for every car we buy even a Toyota Tacoma. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know if you agree. I'd be curious. Do you think that a rodent wire chewing problem should be covered by the manufacturer? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator, and Mod Driven, all about, right now, mods to the Mercedes-Benz. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.